This is Commonwealth TV, where we're interviewing some of the top health IT industry experts and finding out how their organizations are assisting with interoperability. Time now to hear from Stephen Dean, who is the VP of Interoperability Solutions Clinical Networks for Change Healthcare. And Stephen, Commonwealth and other interoperability groups, they were uh, you know, created to fulfill a need for the health IT industry. How do you see that role uh, evolving when data exchange, other new data exchanges emerge? The, the initial basic interoperability um, has not been widely adopted. Uh, we're seeing a rapid growth uh, probably in the last six months. Um, I see it evolving more to a patient data centric clinical in interoperability platform so that the patient is at the, the heart of um, improving well being and health outcomes. Well, as you know, interoperability, it's rapidly changing from a, from a year-to-year -year basis. How do you see Commonwealth here in the immediacy f fulfilling and helping uh, within that, that role? And then as we move forward, um, how, how do you feel Commonwealth is going to assist? So um, <clears throat> the Commonwealth platform, um, as more and more standards evolve, um, uh, for the interoperability of the digital conversations to occur. Um, that platform will continue to grow. Uh, right now we're seeing a, um, a number of organizations adopting uh, and connecting into the Commonwealth platform. Um, but in order for the interoperability to be fully realized, some of those digital conversation standards need to be created. But with the, the basic platform that exists, um, adding those digital conversations onto what's already being done it isn't going to be a, a big shift. Um, as an example, um, CMS is looking at, we call it uh, event notification system. Uh, we've been working with Commonwealth and its members and we'll be rolling out the event notification system well in advance of when CMS uh, says that it needs to be ready. Stephen, if you were to try to explain to somebody outside of the healthcare IT world what Commonwealth is, what, what would you say to them? Uh, so I like to use analogies to try to put things in perspective for people. Um, when it comes to almost any other type of industry, um, you know, you, you order a couch, you know when it's coming, you know what you're going to, need to pay for the couch, you know what color the couch is. Um, in healthcare, um, you don't always have your medical records with you when you need them and you're in front of a physician and the physician needs to review them. Um, you don't know what you're going to pay sometimes for um, a, a procedure until months after the fact. Uh, we're moving towards a more digital conversation in healthcare where these type of things will be made available to the patient um, in advance of when uh, the actual event occurs. And Stephen, finally, how do you see change healthcare maybe evol uh, evolving within the, the Commonwealth uh, Alliance as, as inter uh, interoperability shifts forward and moves forward? So change healthcare today is, is at the heart of a lot of the stuff that's happening in healthcare. There are use cases emerging that are looking to connect the clinical network that we're current, the national clinical network we're working with Commonwealth to build. Um, you have other networks like your medical network where reimbursements for um, a physician are delayed because the health plan is looking to gain access to some of that clinical information. At Change Healthcare, we will be able to go network to network and facilitate that um, exchange of information rather easily. Well, Change Healthcare, helping bridge some of those gaps when it comes to interoperability, one of the proud partners of the Commonwealth Alliance. And for more information on them, as well as how you might be able to become, and your organization might be able to become part of the Commonwealth Alliance, we invite you to log on to commonwealthalliance.org. Thanks so much, Stephen. Thank you.